Hey guys, it's Danros Probs here, and this is episode 11 of my Universal Minecraft Editor tutorial. And today we are doing items coming from spawners, okay? So in this chest here, I have a spawn egg, okay? Now this spawn egg is an item spawn egg, as you can see. And for some reason now, 4J have changed it, and if you can see in there, there's an iron helmet. <laughs> it used to be a stone block, but anyway. That is a way of showing you that items can go inside um, spawners. But to me, it's rubbish. So we're going to just throw that over there. Sorry, it might be a bit laggy because there's a lot going on here. So this is like a, a bed spawn style. Um, as you can see, there's absolutely tons of iron and gold here. Oh my god. <laughs> that is a lot. No, it's a bit better now. It's not so laggy. So what I've done here is put is spawning four lots of different things okay so there's one iron ingot there's a two iron ingot and a three iron ingot and one gold but as you can see it is actually collecting so as if you were playing bed wars on pc i've seen these people use these in the past but they don't stay there like that you see what i mean what i've done is remove the uuid and yeah i've made that so when the spawner there will be max entities will is up to a hundred okay so you can get a hundred of these suckers <laughs> all there because an item is an entity if you didn't know. So that is like an entity, okay? So that's that one, Bedwall style. Now this is another random one, okay? This is just randomized loot. I'm just going to get rid of all that. And this is on max spawn um, entities of 20. Now I'm just showing you could get any item you want from Minecraft spawning out of these, okay? And then... Lastly, I just want to show you this one. This is a little trolling loot. <laughs> That's a lovely never star. Um, yeah, we, 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 we can't pick that up. Um, I've, I've put an absolute ton of pickup delay on that and minus age. So yeah, you, you can never pick that one up. I'm, I'm sorry. That, that could be funny. I don't know. You could use that, say, in your spawn area or something. Um, I don't know. Just an idea, I thought. But anyway, guys, so we, I'm just going to show you how this is done. It is pretty easy. Um, so I've got myself a mob spawner. You need a mob spawner for this, so you need to edit that in your inventory. And just place it down. And then what I will do is just pick up one of these Tottenham dying things. And literally, all we have to do is throw it on the ground and save and exit. And we'll go on a PC. Okay, so we've loaded up Universal Minecraft Editor, and now I just want to find my save, which I have called uh, Item Spawners. There we go. So all I want to do is find my player, because I know that the item should be there. Okay, <laughs> typical. The entity isn't there, because it's obviously, obviously not in that chunk. But there's our mob spawner anyway, okay? So we've kept that one, we keep it up there. Now I need to actually find my player. It doesn't really matter, I just need any item, okay? So there's bound to be one somewhere because there's loads. Right, here we go, this will do. So we're just going to copy the dropped item, okay guys? And then go back onto my mob spawner. All you want to do is delete that spawn data, okay? And then obviously we need to replace the name of that. Spawn data, like so. And inside there, is the never star now you can see like the age and the pickup delay so you can't pick that up but that's what we picked up there but say i don't know let's just make it easy and we'll just do a diamond because everyone loves diamonds in this game all right we're gonna have to have a diamond chest plate i don't know why diamond didn't come up but anyway right all you want to do then okay so you have your entity on the floor delete the position tag okay very important else it will not work Set this back to zero so we can actually pick it up. Set that back to zero as well so we can actually pick it up. And you can leave this if you want it to just spawn one item at a time, okay? But if you want it to spawn multiple of them, delete it, okay? It's up to you. Depends what you're using it for. And that's that part, quite straightforward. And again, copy that. And then here, again, spawn potentials, there should be an entry with a pig yeah because every spawner is a pig so all you want to do is delete that one and we still got this in here okay don't make a mistake here paste that in there and it will say spawn data 
Now, change the name of that to Entity. Now, this is a common mistake that I keep doing, and I think sometimes <laughs> I get so frustrated with myself. Please rename that, because it will not work with a capital E, okay? So now that is exactly the same as the spawn data, okay? Pretty straightforward, and that, my friends, <laughs> is it. Um, but if you want it to spawn rapidly, and like I showed you with the Bed Wars one, I change this to 100, so if I change that to, say, a hundred, a hundred of these chess plates could spawn if, if I stopped this, you see? So what I'm actually going to do is delete that just to show you that they will keep spawning like mad. Um, it's probably going to get quite laggy because there's a lot going on already, but if you want it to spawn really fast, okay, this is a good one, put that to three and then put that like two or something, that will be good. I always put spawn count on 1 to stop the stupid clicking, because that's really annoying. And spawn range is how far it will spawn. In a, That's a floor, a 4 block radius, okay? So if you want it to spawn just above it, you mean you could put glass above it and it will like elevate for it. I normally just put this on 1, just because it's easier. But if you want, say, a drop party, okay, um, you would set that to what, like... 16, 10, something like that. But if you want, say, if I want multiple of these to spawn, okay, I want multiple of chest plates to spawn. All you do, copy that, which has got all your bits in it, and paste it, and paste it, and paste it, and paste it. I don't know what the maximum is, guys. Don't quote me on this. I mean, I've done 20 on that one with randomized loot, and it's working fine. Um, but yeah, I could change this, look, I could. I could make one of these chest plates with enchanting, protection, I don't know, 100 on it for a laugh. Um, you know, thanks to Oprizal P, he's made this really easy, this tool. I mean, all you have to do is click it, and you can change it, change the name, we'll call that one, I don't know, Legend Chest Plate. But I mean, you can make, um, like, Lucky Chest spawn from this, you can make Mob spawn from it, as you've seen in my videos before. It's exactly the same process. If you want a zombie to spawn from it, just copy, copy the entity like I would. Exactly the same. But today we're just doing items. But yeah. Anyway, I'll save it and then we'll go on the Xbox and I'll show you that it should spawn hundreds of these chest plates. Hopefully with some random stuff going on. I don't know with the names and stuff. So let's go on the Xbox then. Right, let's load this up then, and we should see <laughs> loads of chest plates appearing. Oh my god, I'm getting hundreds already. Look, guys, see? <laughs> oh my god, I've never done that before. Look at them all! It's funny because they don't stack. That's hilarious. Anyway, as you can see, some of them were enchanted. Did I actually pick up any of them? No. But anyway, you get the idea. I think I've got one there. It should have protection 100 on it. Right, it says 1 because it can't pick it up. Some of these must be. There you go, legend chest plate. There he is. So that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, that is mental. <laughs> Look at all the chest plates. But it's that simple. I mean, I've been requested. A lot of people have been requesting this. So that's going to annoy me. So I'm going to get away from that. Um, yeah, a lot of people have requested this. So I thought I'd just make it. I mean, it's not that difficult. But if you didn't know, that's how you do it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, little tutorial. I'm Darren Sprubs. And bye! <laughs> uh...